IVPN, the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great entertainment video blogs, plus tons more collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet. That matters. Time now is 8.10 in the morning, Berwick, Massachusetts, about 33 degrees out. It's the first day of spring, Monday, March 20th. Before I get to my first video blog subject of the day, the personality profile about Ozzy Guillen, former Major League Baseball shortstop and manager. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. South Carolina upset Duke in the second round of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. The Sweet 16 starts Thursday on CBS and TBS, hosted by Greg Gumbel and Ernie Johnson. This is Chicago. Blackhawks clenched a playoff spot. And it's World Sparrow Day. And that's about it on news from the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my first video blog subject of the day. Angelo, gonna go to Mark Basket today to scratch off millions of scratch tickets. He'll win nothing. <laughs> Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Julie's new, new, new six, Orlando, Florida. A cute leggy blonde who I would love to interview on these video blogs one of these days. Time now is 8 11 in the morning, Dorica, Massachusetts. Happy Monday! I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day for Monday, March 20th, 2017, is my personality profile. Today's personality profile was about former Major League Baseball shortstop and former manager Ozzy Guillen. Ozzy was a played in the big leagues for 16 seasons. He was a great defensive shortstop. Afterwards, he had a career as a coach and a manager for about nine seasons. Managing the White Sox and the Marlins, and he was somewhat controversial as a manager. Ozzy was born and he grew up in Venezuela in South America. That's one of the hotbeds for baseball. He played baseball as a young star. He was so good that at the age of 16, the San Diego Padres signed Ozzy, and he played five seasons in the Padres system. But he didn't progress through Triple A. Plus, at the time, the Padres had a decent good shortstop by the name of Gary Templeton. So, Ozzy probably would have not made the um, roster of the Padres at that time. He was traded to the Chicago White Sox in this December of 1984 for pitcher Lamar Hoyt, who in 1983 won the AL Cy Young Award. And this was kind of a lopsided trade because. Lamar Hoyt went downhill soon afterwards. Um, Ozzy made his debut in 1985. He was a very good player. He won the 1985 AL Rookie of the Year. Played 16 seasons in the bags, mainly with the White Sox, but he had he also played for the Orioles, Braves, and Rays to end out his career, retiring in 2000. Ozzy was known for having a great range as a shortstop. He was kind of light hitting. He didn't hit too many home runs during his career, and he he never batted 300 in any season. But he put up some decent offensive numbers: 12 seasons, 100 or more hits; nine seasons, 20 or more doubles; five se seasons, he stole 20 or more bases. Um, five seasons, he had 50 or more RBIs. Ten seasons, he had 50 or more runs scored. Seven seasons, he had five or more doubles. He made three AL All-Star teams. And he won a gold glove one time. He was one of the most 
best players for the Chicago White Sox during the 80s and 90s. And he finished with a career 287 batting average, 28 home runs, 619 RBIs, 773 one scored, 1760 Four hits, 275 doubles, 69 triples, and 239 stolen bases. After Ozzy retired, he became a coach for the Montreal Expos and uh, Florida Marlins for about three seasons. In 2004, um, Ozzy was named manager of the White Sox. He managed the White Sox for eight seasons, leading them to five, 81 seasons, two times they made the postseason, 2005 and 2008. Both times they won, he won the American League Central. He won the Manager of the Year in 1985, no, 2005 for the for the White Sox, for the and he led them to the World Series in 2005. Um, Ozzy was known as when he was managed by Sam controversial subjects, what got him into a lot of hot water. In 2012, he made some remarks about Fidel Castro to the media, which that's a very very sensitive subject for people in the Miami area, and he got seriously fined and disciplined by the. Miami Marlins for it. He only managed the Marlins one year and then he was fired. But he still got paid the entire contract which lasted to 2015. Ozzy has appeared on Fox Sports as like a baseball commentator for the World Series. I don't know if Ozzy's going to manage again. He's a pretty good manager, but some of the stuff he says that might scare some teams away. He wore number 13 for the Chicago White Sox. And he was on the Hall of Fame ballot in 2006, but he didn't get the necessary amount of votes to stay on. I think a couple of people voted for him because leading the uh, White Sox to the first World Series crown in 88 years. They probably were from Chicago, those sports writers. And Ozzy's career record for managing is 741, 710, a 5-0-3-3 winning percentage and 12-4 and in the postseason 750 winning percentage that's about it on him i'll be back later facebook youtube twitter and google plus two more video blogs coming your way today first of one will be about the new england hockey journal the magazine and third and final video blog and that will be about the msg health show card review for madison square garden on january 19th 1987 a rematch for the wwe championship hulk hogan facing off against kamala and also, there's a big stare down after the match. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bennett guy. My label is part of WCCO Rocks. And that's nice likes. Elizabeth Hot So So Stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Then the church of WPIX Channel Love New York. Such a wrecking cougars. Got the best legs in New York City. Bar, bar none. Bobby Gibbs of AB7. Has a sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. When Claire of WHDH Channel 7 in Boston. Meteorologist has the best legs in Boston, and Alia Woolley of WABI Channel 5 in Bangor, Maine, rocks, and she's the best cute lady blonde in the state of Maine. And in the words of Sean, you get out by now.